Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Doodle Robot and today we're going to play with my new, I already did a haul video on this in early February I think, my new Jane Davenport pastels that we have. Uh, so I just have these two sets. This is all I could find on Amazon. So we're going to actually try to work with them in Kirby's book, Mythomorphia. So I will show you what I've done here. I've got, I've got my pastels out. I've got some scratch paper just in case. Here's where I was doing some tests. And I'm going to actually use uh, little eyeshadow applicators to put them on. I've practiced a little bit there and in the back of the Kirby book here. Let's see if you can see. I'll zoom you in a smidge. Uh, so we're going to be using all but the this last color here, not this kind of peachy color. We're starting with the pink, going through the purples and into the kind of the the bluey, I don't know, smoky blue color maybe with a hint of green in it. I practiced erasing because they erase really well. I practiced a little bit of Prismacolor on top of it. I've even gone so far as to try smudging it with my finger because I'm not sure if I need to, if once I get all the pastel down, if I'll need to fix it or not. We shall see. So the plan, if we can get the book open. The plan is that I'm going to do the gnome page here. So let's get that in camera for you. And I was practicing the um, the yellow on top because this gnome over here has a little lantern of some kind. And I think that's kind of the only light source in the whole page. So at least it's going to go into the sky. So I wanted to know that I'd be able to maybe do some yellow over it because uh, the it would be emanating a little bit of light. So I'm going to do that in the background. And then if that goes well, <laughs> we shall see how it goes. I may do all these weird little grasses that I think it's grass. It's like the world's biggest grass you've ever seen. All these little grasses here. I may do those in green. Now, I'm not going to be doing this neatly because this stuff erases so well. I did an erase test here. You can't even tell though. Um, but you can see right here, it, it was all choppy and stuff and I just erased it. I mean, I've done an erase test when I swatched it on the paper. I used it to erase great, but of course I wanted to check it in the Kirby paper too. So, so yeah, so this may be a quick way. Oh, now I've lost the page. A quick way to get maybe 50% of the of the picture done. And I generally like Prismacolor. I like the intensity of Prismacolor. And I had my colors all picked out to do this guy. And I'm like, oh no, I should try some of my new stuff that I got. I also need to try, you know, maybe one with my ink tents as well. So I'll be giving that a try in the near future too. I, it's always just my go-to to just go directly to the Prismacolor, though. So I gotta, I gotta break that habit a little bit and give other things a try. So what I'm going to use because I'm gonna switch to the uh, oh, what's it called? It's like the fast forward or I don't know where I color, but it looks like I'm coloring fast. I'm going to use. So I actually practiced with. Uh, pinky promise, but I'm not going to have that one in there. I'm just going to start with perfect date and romantic. And those perfect date will be at the bottom. Romantic is next going towards the top. And then blue steel, dreamer, and way, way, way at the top will be take a breath. So that is, this is blue steel, this is dreamer, and this is take a breath. So we'll have a series of a fade of five colors going there. All right, so yes, like I said, I'm going to switch you around, angle the camera, um, and like I said, I'm not gonna be neat about it, and I'm gonna put it on whatever it's called, speed it up version. I don't know what it's called in the camera, but we will soon figure that out. 
All right, so I'll see you in just a bit for that.
Okay, we're back. And so I went over to my desk and I actually put another layer on top with the pastels. And that kind of made all the difference in the world. So they might look a little bit neater now. And you can see over on this side, I have erased out the, the stuff where I got out of the lines because I said I wasn't going to be neat about it. I was just going to do it quickly. That's, that's a chore and a half, I got to say, erasing out those lines. This is where I really need one of those electric erasers, which I do not have. So I was just going at it with my Tombow. So I haven't done this side yet. I'll save that for tomorrow when my arm doesn't hurt. But I'd say the two coats, the initial coat took longer, maybe 45 minutes to an hour. It was on time lapse. That's what I, the word I was looking for, time lapse. Um, and it was about 15 minutes. So I think it's every three or four seconds that it records a, a motion or something. Um, so yeah, so probably the initial layer, 45 to minutes to an hour. And then I went over it again at my desk, you know, where I wasn't bumping my head on the camera and such things, <laughs> and did another layer, which made a big difference, I think. I don't know if you can tell by looking at it, but it seemed to make a big difference. Um, I haven't decided if I'm going to fix it and then go to work with the Prismacolors. I have decided not to not to do the little grasses with the pastels just because it's a lot to erase and I don't have an electric eraser so it'd just be easier I think to just use colored pencil or maybe even I might break out and do something like watercolor or something I don't know maybe this will be the page where I do all kinds of mixed media so that's where we are now I think they worked pretty good I definitely want to get not use those little small uh, eyeshadow brushes, maybe get some longer ones, or maybe the professional tools. Ooh, maybe even some of those um, blenders, those makeup blenders, the big things. I don't know. We'll see what happens, what I end up getting. So now I have a few things for my shopping list, I guess. Um, that's about it. Seems quick and easy. It's pretty, it's pretty pigmented. I mean, it's not quite Prismacolor vibrancy or saturation, but I don't know, considering that it didn't take very long, although I don't know, if you add in erasing, then it takes a bit longer, so, so yeah, pretty successful. We'll see how the finished product comes out, and I'll, I'll let you know if I really, really like them or don't, or maybe I need to do more experimenting. That's pretty much it, though. I thank you for your time. I appreciate it. Live long and prosper. Bye-bye.